Now, the Isle business community now wants the president to intervene on the arrest warrant on police officer Rashid Ahmed. The business uh, community sent uh, the message to the head of state through his defense cabinet secretary, Aden Duale, who met with officials in Isle Nairobi. Now, the group, uh, through its chairman, Ahmed Abdullahi, said they had utmost faith in C.S. Duale and his appointment goes a long way to show the president's commitment to an inclusive government. Duale then pledged to ensure that the community is not discriminated against in business and other sectors of the government. <laughs> Today, and to be part of the community. And I really want to thank the Sleep Business Community and our great member of parliament, Honorable Yusuf, who has brought unity and big contribution to our economy. Isli is a business hub, but Isli became a victim of state capture of the previous administration. State capture. They were told you cannot even sell milk. They were told everything you bring here is contraband. We want to assure the residents of Islam under the administration of President William Ruto. Every Kenyan, regardless of your community, regardless of your tribe and religion and where you come from, you will have an equal opportunity and a conducive environment to do business. And we want the people in Isli to pay taxes. It is a national duty. Tafadhali tukae na KRA kuna malalamiko mengi sana, nyingi sana. Si kutoka kwetu pekee kwa kinya nzima kuhusu ushuru. Haswa Mambo madogo madogo kama ile leso wa, wa, watu wa chini wanauza viatu kila saa ushuru ile inapita kiasi inajitokeza hiyo tunataka tupate fursa mzuri tukae na watu wa KRA ili tutengeneze Right, that's the end of KTN News. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fatia Mohamed Noor. KTN Qatar 24.